Booster 4 finally rolled out of the high bay, headed for the launch pad, and as SpaceX themselves would put it, Raptors are on the loose. Hey everybody, welcome back to another update video about SpaceX, Starship and the space industry. SpaceX has begun installing the sea level Raptor engines on Starship 20, which signals the imminent beginning of their pre-flight tests. After its rollout, Booster 4 may also be awaiting an imminent testing period. Rumor has it that SpaceX is planning a full-stack cryogenic proof test, although I would also expect some static fire tests on both parts of the vehicle. We will have to wait and see what happens. I remember Elon Musk mentioning in a tweet that the booster engines needed protection and I imagined it would look somewhat similar to the protection around the Merlin engines on the Falcon 9 booster or just the protection around any rocket engines for that matter, where most of the engine containing all the cables and pipes remains hidden, making only the nozzles visible. But so far I haven't seen anything that could be remotely similar on Booster 4, where all the engines remain seemingly naked, so it has me wondering, did SpaceX maybe discard the idea of protecting the Raptor engines on the booster, or maybe the plan is to roll the booster back to the production site once more? for final preparations after all the tests at the launch site have been conducted. Be it as it may, the first ever orbital flight of a Starship draws nearer with every passing day, an orbital flight whose launch date we still don't know, but honestly we don't have much of an alternative than to wait for the permission of the FAA if they allow it. The thermal protection tiles have seen a rapid improvement in the past few days, only a handful of green and red stickers remain to be seen and of course the two spots where the lifting hooks are attached will have to be covered as well, but I guess that will happen after the full stack. However, I can't imagine how high the lift carrying the workers up to the tip of a fully stacked Starship has to be. Work continues on the chopsticks that will catch both the booster and the Starship in the future. In this picture you can really appreciate what I believe is going to be their final form. It seems to be a really complicated and cumbersome task for the workers, but I guess that is the way it should be if you want these things to catch a 70 meter tall flame firing tower in the air without destroying the whole launch site. Most recently Elon Musk also confirmed that a second integration tower will be built up by 2022 after he commented on this amazing picture made by Eric X on Twitter. Make sure to go and give this man a follow, his amazing work and dedication totally deserves it. Back at the production site, work on the construction of a new and even bigger high bay is quickly ramping up. Last week we had the successful first flight of a Firefly rocket which ended a a fiery but controlled explosion after the loss of one of its four engines resulted in a loss of vehicle control after it moved through transonic and into supersonic speeds. The company itself exercised a commendable act of transparency and gave us a detailed explanation of the whole flight and of what went wrong. Here are some of the most relevant bits of information. The vehicle controlled itself perfectly off the pad, with thrust vectoring eliminating all tipping and rotation, and the vehicle increased in speed at the exact rate that was predicted in modeling, about 15 seconds into the flight, engine 2 shut down. The engine didn't fail, the main propellant valves on the engine simply closed and thrust terminated. The vehicle continued to climb and maintain control for a total of about 145 seconds. However, due to missing the thrust of one of four engines, the climb rate was slow and as the rocket moved through transonic and into supersonic flight, where control is most challenging, the three engine thrust vector control was insufficient and the vehicle tumbled out of control. The rocket did not explode on its own. The range terminated the flight using the explosive flight termination system. As their next step, they will be conducting a deeper investigation in order to understand why propellant valves on engine 2 closed. So my congratulations to Firefly. All things considered, this was a great first launch that helped them gather crucial data in order to try and get to orbit in their next attempt. Speaking of launches, I have to mention the upcoming launch of Inspiration4 where four civilians will travel to space aboard SpaceX's Dragon capsule and stay in orbit for three days before returning back to Earth. Thanks to a cupola at the tip of their capsule, the civilian cosmonauts will be able to contemplate the wonders of the Earth and space in a manner which they have never experienced before. This will be a remarkable event in human history, which hopefully we will see repeated much more often in the future. The launch is scheduled for the 15th of September, that is next week. The backup date will be the next day, the 16th of September. 
you will be able to watch the launch for free here on YouTube. Next in the news, this is the brand new render of a starship headed for space, courtesy of SpaceX themselves. Let's compare it to the older version and see what has changed. First of all, the main window in the front is smaller and there are overall less rows of slimmer windows located further down the ship, with the old version containing up to 6 rows, whereas the new version includes just 4. The back of the flaps are no longer covered with thermal protection tiles, and they are also smaller, their insertions inward rotated. Looking further down the ship, we can see the new style of grid fins, which are extended and no longer folded, and they are also closer together, almost forming two pairs. And finally, the last big difference that I can see are the missing landing legs on the new version, which makes sense given the fact that the booster will be caught in the air. The awesome picture of today is this beautiful sunset captured on Mars. Thank you all for your time and energy, I wish you all a very nice day whatever you are and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Take care, bye bye.